Greetings, and welcome to Roman of the Empire. I'm your host, Roman. This week, I have a very special co-host. This is my good friend, Matt. Um, we've known each other for 30 years. He's the drummer for our band, Dennis Dillinger. I've argued that he's really not a very good drummer, but yet, <laughs> after all these years, he's still here. So this week, uh, why, why did I bring a drummer uh, on board for this? Uh, we want to discuss what makes the perfect song. We have our list of what is the perfect song. And so what is it that makes a perfect song? Um, lyrics, rhythm, guitar line, bass, drums. Um, honestly, all the notes placed in the right spot uh, from beginning to end. There's really no fixing it. It is perfect. You, you can't from beginning to end. improve on the song. But it's also very hard to uh, quantify. It just kind of, kind of, it is. When you hear the perfect song, you you know it. It's it, it's almost a resonance. Right. Uh, when yeah. you when you hear the song, it's like ah, I I get it. And that's why. And this not is not the most popular. No, not, not the best song. No, by by nothing like that. So it's funny the bands that aren't on our list, and we can talk about that just real quick. Uh, the Rolling Stones. Uh, 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 Rolling Stones, Beatles, The Beatles, The Who, Pink Floyd, all the greats. They're they're actually not on the list. And the thing is, they have like this tons many of per great songs, great songs, but, tons of great songs, but not the perfect song in our definition. The Which this is, is just our wildly subjective, list. and that's something also. It's yes, it's. It's our stupid list. It's our stupid list. So Matt has a really, really uh, solid background in metal uh, and in classic well, rock well, and well all the stuff. That. We're Gen X, so we, we we cover the whole spectrum. I was a I was a punk guy back in the day, and so our perspectives are maybe shaped a, a bit by that. But we, we of course they are. We try not to 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 really limit True. it too much. But there are genres that we just we don't delve into because we're not that familiar with them so this is something we're in the comments um add that stuff to the list and that's something that matt and i can maybe look at and do you know we can listen to these songs and we can say okay yeah i, I actually get why you say that's, that's a perfect, perfect song. song so uh, and we're also <laughs> drinking so just kind of go with that Barely you should us. probably be drinking too <laughs> absolutely Okay, so we're gonna start. We're gonna start down the the primary list, and then we have our honorable mentions that we're gonna talk about. And these are songs that I thought should be on the list, or Matt should thought should be on the list, and that we just simply couldn't agree upon. Which means they or too niche, too genre, yes, specific that, and, and sometimes it just can't make it. That happens, but but in that genre, is it the perfect song? It very well could be. Okay, so starting off, and this is one that so. The stuff that we're going to talk about is stuff that Matt and I fully agree on were the perfect song. And, and we're just going to kind of blow through the list. And it's in absolutely no, no order, order. No order, just things that we've agreed that that's a perfect song. And when you, again, when you hear the song, and this is stuff that uh, I wanted, we wanted to talk about so that you guys can get out, you can listen to the songs if you're not familiar with them, and maybe you guys can find some new stuff that you are like, wow, that, I've never heard of that. Or I never considered it from that perspective. And we understand you're going to... Many you're of you are going to think, think, we're off what our are, fucking rockers what with What the this. fuck were they thinking with this? And, yeah. that's, and that's okay, too. Or maybe it's not. Anyway, it's yeah. a joke. Uh, so the first one, uh, again, this is no particular order. Yeah. We, is uh, Boston More Than, more a, than feeling, a Feeling. Which I love. I think everyone loves this one. And, and how can you not... Say that's not a perfect song from beginning to end. How can you not say from that? the guitar portions to the vocals, which vocals he can't do live, <laughs> which hurts my soul. But as far as the recording goes, it's an impeccable piece of music. Uh, I agree. Kansas, wayward song. Again, perfect song. It just it, it, it's it, a perfect song. It just the lasso comes in, grabs you, and that stuff comes on. You are just like, okay, I get it. Um, and so there are, there are also more recent pieces on here. It's not just all like classical stuff. Rage Against the Machines, Killing in the Name of. Hello? That 
is one badass perfect song. Matt actually from beginning to played end. that for me back when this back album in, came out. Yeah, and it was like, holy shit, what wow, is that? And it that was amazing. They actually recorded that album um, ninety three. Or in what? in in the, uh, the that studio that Dave Grohl oh the one with there. the soundboard yes oh, okay the right. Sun City Sun City recordings where he bought the, that soundboard but that album was recorded in that studio perfect song. which is neither here nor there but it's just it is it's that perfect it song you two with or without you it's a simple song simple song it almost and some of these are simple no, songs a lot yeah. of them are, are are actually very simple songs but that's what actually. There's just something about that song from beginning to end that is just incredible. It captures the notes, the the lyrics, and, and the lyrics, the feelings that. you get from that perfect song. John Denver, Country Road. Holy crap! Now that's one that takes you back. It, it actually, that I would say that song transports you. Um, it puts you in a place from your childhood. To somewhere pristine, better, and it's it is pristine. It's that magical it's pure. place. It's pristine, um, and that song just does that. And if you, if you're not familiar with that one, because some of you may be too young to understand it, sit and listen to it. And don't give it. If you give it the obligatory listen, you may not get it. But sit and actually listen to the song, mm -hmm. and you'll understand why that's on the list. This one's a little bit of a black horse because a lot of you are not gonna are not probably even familiar with this song. But as soon as, when I played it for Matt, oh. he he got it immediately. And this was we I, he, True. this is not it's just not even new. It's it's several years old now. It's from the album uh from Bruce Springsteen called Magic. But the album is Radio Nowhere. Nowhere. Man, you want to talk about a simple song. This is this is one of the perfect it's and it's, it rocks. It is it's like, like a perfect it's no one's business. rock song. It even has saxophone in it. Which I hate, yeah. but I, in this song, like it works. Either. It works really well. It, because it just has all those perfect so, song elements. Yes. Um, and again, it's a, it's a newer, with quotes around it, album from Bruce. So it's not classic Bruce Springsteen, it's newer Bruce Springsteen. And he's very capable. He is. At um, whatever age he was when he did that, just of making a perfect song still. I mean, that... So no, song. and it and it, it just it's a it's a nice journey through music. Yes. Um, <laughs> talks about radio radio nowhere. Uh, is there anybody listening out there? I just want to hear some music. I just want to. It's hear very some relevant. Songs. It was a very it, relevant it song and because powerful and a lot of it. I think was talking about kind surprising. Of, you know, this surprisingly was, good. We we are you know we he and I have a lot of discussions about the state of music in the modern era and I think that's what this song was about mm -hmm. a lot. The I couldn't tell you a modern pop song I to can't. save my life. Yeah, just couldn't do it because I don't think they're good. <laughs> they're not that good. A lot they're of not it, that good. No, a lot of it is songwriting wise. They're not that good. It's, it's cookie cutter crap. You, you read my mind. I was gonna, I was just gonna say the cookie cutter thing. It's 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 uh, conveyor belt music. Mm -hmm. Someone wants to make money. This guy has a high voice, and that guy plays a funny guitar. And maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. Or we found a good sample track. We can go with this. But it's I, I the modern the modern state of music is not crap spectacular it's crap. And we're not ancient. You know, we're not four hundred years old. So. Uh, and we still, we do still listen to music. Um, and we just, want, we want. I'd love there to be a new we modern We want band. there well, to be new sounds, like, new. Bands new, like Muse. New Horizons. Muse came along. I thought Muse is, Muse is really new, good. Oh, but even oh, Muse, Muse isn't new anymore. Is a sad part. True, true. Um, they're new-ish. But Muse is, Muse is really Muse good. Muse is, this is obviously, you know, as of this this video we have probably definitely forgotten or oh, yeah, that's, uh, i mean come no on, give me a break there's <laughs> so many bands so many good bands so many good songs and now that you bring up muse which we haven't talked about no muse we, has muse has a ton uh, of good songs yeah. they could probably on the honorable mention list they could probably have five songs true. Right now on very true list. um okay so now we're going to get into some some more so this is an all a little older song. so drama rama oh. anything Holy perfect song. Fuck, if you from beginning to song, end, perfect song. This is a song about the end of a relationship. He's trying to get her to stay, 
in giving her any reason to do so. I will give you anything, anything. And it's a simple song, too. It is. It another is a another totally simple super song. simple song. Um, Bad Religion, Infected. Yes. I, I, uh, I can see it. I'm not a big Bad Religion guy. Uh, but I have to admit, that's a perfect song. That's just a great, perfect song from beginning to end. And there's a lot of analogies in the song, which are really good. You need to listen to the lyrics to, to get that. And again, though, it's also a very basic song. Mm -hmm. It's not a complicated song by any stretch of true. imagination. Yep. Uh, we, we got yelled at by our guitarist for, uh, for this one. The next one, yeah. <laughs> but I'm still, I'm still, we agreed on this one because it's one of those songs when it comes on the radio. You're turning that shit up. Golden right. Earring, Radar, Radar Love. love. Doom, 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 doom. You're turning that shit up. And it just drives. It does. It does. That song pushes you from beginning to end. It takes you through a, a landscape. It does. I can't think of anything. I actually can't think of anything. I mean, that's why it's on the list. I can't think of anything I don't I, like I, about I, that exactly. song. Exactly. Okay, so now we're getting a little more classic territory. Blue Oyster Cults, Don't Fear the Reaper. Argue probably no arguments argue on with me on this there's probably song. no arguments on that one. if you don't know the song I, I actually i don't know how to talk to you this is this is a this is it's a song about death uh which is it's a dark topic. pretty uplifting <laughs> but it's uh the delivery of it and the journey of the the primary i guess the i want to call them the protagonist of the song but it's actually difficult it's about a girl who wants to kill herself and which is again it's these are weird topics and if you don't if you don't listen to the song you're probably not getting that but that is what the song is about and um, being gen xers we were always cheated on the bridge mm. that bridge which really to me yes without the bridge you can't you can't include it as a perfect song. That bridge is absolutely needed to complete the perfect song portion of no, it. No, it just it, it builds and the builds and part. builds and builds and builds. It's it's just spectacular. I agree. Um, okay, this is in our overplayed, but we still acknowledge it department. Nirvana smells like Teen Spirit. It is a perfect song. It is. It's a perfect song. There's a. It's it's it a, spawned a whole. It did genre of music. Probably in and of itself. It did. That that changed music in the 90s. That song, and it brought a whole bunch of other musicians and in. And it was their last, it was the last song that they made on that album very quickly. Yeah, they, they whipped just, it out they, fast. They threw that together. And it became, it was a perfect song. Uh, which, But again, and, and I know you've heard it a billion times. If you turn on 91X in San Diego, you're going to hear that mm -hmm. song within the next two hours. I guarantee it because <laughs> that's on their <laughs> permanent right. playlist. Um, the Eagles. Hotel California. Also played a billion times, but there's no way that song doesn't make it onto the perfect. Absolutely not. It has to be. The, Even though I may be kind of tired of it, oh, only because of our age, we've yes. heard it so much. <laughs> okay? Yes. yes. That is a perfect if song. If you turn on a classic radio station, you're going to hear that song in the next two hours. But the guitar on that and then... Oh. The, the, the vocal, sto the story, the story, oh, the song tells. The lyrics are that's impeccable. actually and Matt, Matt's not a lyric guy. I'm not a lyric guy, but that is undeniably a lyric song. It it, it very much is. Um, okay, agree. so Led Zeppelin. So we get two entries from Led Zeppelin in this category. Mm -hmm. I know now this is what this is. We got to be careful here because now we're in. Enchanted territory with Led Zeppelin. <laughs> it's and true, there, and Led Zeppelin, I think, transcends many people's. I I actually believe that many people probably think different songs mm. of theirs are the perfect song. So here's our perfect songs of the Immigrant Song and Cashmere. We we got blasted from Adrian. We did for not having Stairway to Heaven. So what what is our argument for not having? Stairway to Heaven. Do we have a good argument? We, we probably we probably don't, don't have, have a good, a good argument. argument for that. We actually probably don't have a good argument for not having Stairway to Heaven on here. But Immigrant Song and Cashmere are both. I mean, they're both guitar heavy, which I'm, I mean, you, you got I really so like, many right. That, Days and Confused, all those. Some yes. say, well, they, they 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 stole that from. Okay, got it. I, and got I don't it. want to make a best of. 
Led yeah. Zeppelin list because you could do that. There's a lot of bands you could do that. True. With. I mean, there's other bands like we didn't include Black Sabbath on this list, whereas there are Black songs Dog. that I could definitely include from those guys. Yeah. But Led Zeppelin, uh, Immigrant Song is just one of those songs. Again, you you turn up the radio, Cashmere, you turn up the radio. This is this is gonna sound horrible, but if I hear Stairway to Heaven coming on, I, I, I'd I probably agree. change I, the channel. There's another one coming up here. I'm probably that pressing I the button feel... and I'm changing the channel just because yeah. uh, I don't. I'm, there would happen. We're going to get bashed for this. We, we are gonna, We're going to get bashed. I'm just going to let you punch me in the face this on that. This is just our stupid and that's okay. rendition of the perfect song, folks. Okay. So keep that so in mind. So if we want to talk about overplayed songs, we're going to talk about this next song. Queen, Bohemian Rhapsody. Yes. It, I It's been played to death. This is a... Played to death, but I am so sick of this song. But it my is a God. perfect song. As far as the construct, with so many layers compared to the other one, this is this is the this layers is, in this and the musicianship and this is not a simple the song. theatrics. I, I don't know it if is. I'm saying that right. No, no, it is. This isn't. This is. Uh, it's almost like uh, it's almost. It's rock opera. It's rock opera. It's rock. That's rap, that's right. a that's a I think a good way to describe it. Mm -hmm. I agree. You get so much out of this song, both lyrically and musically. It, and it builds, and it drops, and it builds, and you get a whole play. Layers. You get a whole play within a song. It's 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 almost orchestrated with the voices and the, yes. the, the rock instruments. It's like an orchestrated piece. Yeah. Uh, there's probably some orchestrated pieces in there. No, I, would say, I mean, you the know, voices themselves some, are... Uh, Operatic and yes, it's like I have a chorus, and then you have the the the, the opera singer and Freddie Mercury yeah. uh, doing the builds and the the. Lows. But we're both sick of the song. But we hear that song all the time. It's but still made it on the list. Yep, it's a perfect absolutely. Song. Get, now we're gonna get into a little bit more uh, uh, yeah, I call it fringe, but it's not <laughs> okay. Yeah, these yeah, go ahead. So REM's Orange Crush. I, I'm gonna get arguments out of this, and I know that. But it, it's it's a story about Vietnam, and it's a simple song, and I think that's perfectly executed. But the way it's executed is it's perfect. Is just brilliant. Um, I mean, I mean, people are gonna have uh, the you know losing my religion, love. Uh, what is it? The love, the one I lost, or oh, oh, uh, the one I love, the one I love, the one I love. Well, okay, you know, I know those are. See again, those are probably some of the most popular. Maybe some people their best songs, but we're looking at perfect songs. Now, Orange and Crush, it's a from, different, it's a different angle. You got to look at this. Yeah, it's not popularity. The, it's it's the way the song is executed. I think Orange Crush is from beginning to end just an, an extraordinary song. Between the story he's telling and just the the again simple simple mm -hmm, music mm -hmm, as mm -hmm, far as the way the song is. I mean, is, there, there's is, some is some layers to it too. There are, but it's not it's not super heavy. No, it's, it's not. It's no true. Really rap right, right. No, that is very true. <laughs> uh, but it's just it's put together so well. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I actually I this this song bugged oh. me. <laughs> so it bugged him. It didn't bug me because I think this one, uh, pop cultural, um, rock wise, just compositional feelings and yeah. what this song really hits home from beginning to end with everyone go ahead and if you were a miami vice fan in the 1980s <laughs> phil collins um in the air tonight. tonight duh this is Come a on. very you can you almost can't get more basic than this song it's drums a little bit of keyboard and a little bit of guitar and a lyric that just sampling, some keyboard. Keeps going there. and going and going. To build up. The build up is. is what everyone, of course. Do 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 do. And it's yeah. like damn. And it it's it's <laughs> we talked about this one. And it bothered me so much. It did. It bothered me. Um, it didn't but, bother me. That's, but that's but he I was mean. right. It's like, yeah, that construct wise is just a fucking amazing piece of music. It is. It absolutely is. Fucking Phil Collins. So, uh, Man for Man, Blinded by the Light. Now, you, Bruce Springsteen actually wrote this song. His version of it sucks monkey cock. <laughs> His version is not good. Uh, but Man for Man... They nailed it. If there's any 
uh, homage as you could pay to the original writer of this, this is the oh, song they, that yeah, does they, that. They, because you don't even, you probably, you most of you probably don't even know Bruce Springsteen wrote that. Maybe he did. Maybe you looked it up. That's true. But most, you, I would say, say most of you, but all of you know the man for man version of this song. Um, and again, their version of it is just incredible. And it when is. it comes on the radio, you don't want to turn that shit off. You're like happy it's on. Mm -hmm. They've actually done remakes since this one, and they're not good. Yeah, <laughs> it's that uh, pop punk version of "Blinded by the Light." Anybody wants to drive a nail through your sack. And I hate when you know you punk bands just oh, they, pick they go some with a popular they, song and they they sing a they high vocal it up, and, it, and they it do it sucks. faster. And it's like sucks. That's not uh, that's not better. Mm -hmm. So, um, and now we're, this is the last song on of the primary Boom. list. This is the last song of the actually, song. actually, uh, this is oh, the, we got one oh, more I'm after sorry. this one. But let's I, go ahead. I lied because he's smarter than I am. Rush's Tom Sawyer. Come on, fucking Tom Sawyer. Perfect song. You have so many levels in this song. It's it's actually this is a whole it's it's like a different level of music, uh, Rush. That's and I want to hear about the plagiarism from Journey's Nickel and Dime. <laughs> Come on, Come on. There's some similarities and some and one part near the end, the outro. Sorry, that it's it's not a ripoff. Keep going. This song, Getty Lee. I. You're not a Getty. You, I'm I, not a Getty well, Lee fan. I'm not a Getty Lee fan. Well, we, 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 we're going to back up just for a second. You do like Getty Lee. You actually like him more in his older age. I do. I like than his, his younger age. His younger with his voice. Young, with the younger voice. Bothered me. His older voice, I appreciate more. But Tom Sawyer is undeniably a perfect song. There, there, there is so many elements in the song, and they all work together so well. The pieces in there, all stitched together. That's a, that's a lot drum of, solo, that's a lot of the guitar stuff. solo, the perfect uh, uh, um, chorus. Come on, that now, catchy, it, perfect chorus. And so the last one, which we we forgot about. Yes. This is another, uh, I say modern song, but most of you probably have no idea what well, the fuck. A lot I'm of them are about. modern songs. Um, in the nineties, you mean? Yeah. Well, this was actually that was an eighties song. No, nope. was it? It was eighty nine. Yep, we it just, was eighty nine. Okay, got out of high, high school. Uh, Living color, the cult, cult of, of personality. personality. Boom, perfect song. It, and this is one a lot of you might not be familiar with, but you need to be. Yeah, you um, have to be. My God, the guitar on that, dun 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 dun, dun. and then uh, well, the drums, the vocals. It the, was just all put together so well. And it's it's I mean this is like this is a song that's gotten lost in time mm -hmm. honestly it has it has gotten lost you, you're you're not gonna hear this on ninety one X they don't play that one you'll hear Nirvana sometime yeah. in the next two hours yeah um, <laughs> but you're not gonna hear Cult of Personality from Living Color and fuck it is just it is such it was a, an incredible it was experience a powerful song powerful, Very powerful song and it's it again uh, the the story he tells in the song. Uh, lyrically is just so brilliant. Backed by those pounding fucking guitars is it's don't forget about the drums and and, and, and the political atmosphere. The drummer. Uh, <laughs> so now we're gonna we're gonna talk about honorable mentions. These are when you talk about subjective. Should we do are, tit for tat for honorable mentions? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, that's a tit good for idea. Tat. Yeah, it's okay. So I'll, I'll mention one then, then, then Matt okay. will mention one and. These are a bit more subjective. Some of these, you know, either, Probably either very subjective he or because I would have put on the list, but it, it just it just didn't make it. So the Eagles, Life in the Fast Lane. I think that's a really good song. Um, I do like that song. Is, is it Hotel California? No, but it is. It's Which a, was really a Joe Walsh warm-up. Yes. He it was, was doing a warm yes. up with his guitar, and I guess, well, of course, and, the, and they wrote folklore, the song based off that. that. Yeah, pretty okay. incredible. Okay, I will. I, my honorable mention is Nirvana Dumb. It, there know, is something very simple, very simple song, but I mean, it just hits to the core from begin to end, and and leaves you thinking, "My God, that is a." 
well, for me, a perfect song. Nirv and Nirvana has, I mean, Nirvana probably has a lot more. They, than they got a lot more. But, hey, we're probably going to get Bash yeah, yeah, a yeah. lot for this. Clip. So my, my next uh, list, my next song on this, Elton John's Rocket Man. Okay. And I, I actually can't think of anything wrong with Rocket Man. I like Yellow Brick Road my, more myself. And that's why it's not on the list. Because we, we, okay. when we picked the primary songs, we there was these were songs we didn't scream out at all. These mm -hmm. were songs that mm -hmm. we just, we both agreed. We're like, yeah, okay, I got that. Okay, so you? Uh, Toad the Wet Sprocket. Walk on the Ocean. It's a good song. I agree with his wife. We <laughs> both agree that that is a perfect song. I, I'm sorry. I really believe that's a perfect song from beginning to end. I, I, I just, well written. Uh, it, it invokes uh, kind of an emotion, if you will, I guess. I no, I, no, I would agree. That's you what know, the song was written for. Yeah. That's definitely what the song was written for. I never get tired of that song. So maybe, you know. All right. So this one is, it's, it's, I don't say it's split, but it's not really split. So Iggy mm. Pop and Susie and the Banshees, Passenger. Okay. Both the versions of that song are really good. Uh, Iggy Pop, I mean, he obviously, he did the original version of the song, but the Susie and the Banshees version mm -hmm. of that song is f fucking awesome as well. And you, you, if you haven't heard the Passenger I like Iggy Pop's version a little bit see, more. I so. like the Susie uh, and the Banshees version, mm. which is funny. Um, but if you haven't heard that song, again, these are some of these are a little bit more in the, the archives. Look that shit up, because you, you need to hear that song. Okay, my turn. Um, okay, so I'm going to mm. delve a little bit into more genre-specific, which, why it didn't make it on, but I, I think, in my head, these are perfect songs. My next four are actually in this vein, so I will go with... So you we haven't talked about Metallica. Mm. So I will say yeah. uh, Metallica, Master of Puppets, is a perfect song. For me, uh, I think it's a perfect song because of the way it's written. Yes, it's metal. It's metal. Uh, they Just like Iron Maiden, Metallica didn't get radio Oh, play. Iron Mo Maiden. Fuck, we didn't put them on the list. Well, see. Uh, again, I mean, the, again, the, there's a lot. We're trying to make a quick <laughs> video, right? So, all right, all right. We, we can go into genres of perfect. Damn, we, we can, we can this, go into genres of perfect We can do this songs. for about four hours. Okay. <laughs> But uh, I, I think it's kind of a disservice to not yeah, have some honorable mentions here. And Metallica's Master of Puppets. Uh, I will say this. Master of Puppets is not my most favorite song by Metallica. But I think it's a perfect song. Does that make sense? Oh, absolutely. There's yeah, other I like songs it. I like more than Master of Puppets. But I think Master of Puppets is a perfect song. I, this is the weirdness. This is the weird thing that... If you're watching, this is this is what you're contending with, and this is why you're throwing things at your computer. Okay? <laughs> please don't so. pl please don't break your computer. Okay. Um, talking Heads, Psycho Killer. Ooh. You hear that bass line come on, man? I also like Once in a Lifetime. That's a grabber. See, I hate sorry, Once in a Lifetime. Sorry, sorry. I actually go hate ahead. Once in a Lifetime. Go ahead. Go ahead. Because no, but you're right. I think this is, is a, this is a great song. A horrible song. Yeah. Um, which is why he's wrong. But <laughs> Psycho Killer, um, the story, just the lyrically and musically, Psycho Killer is another one of those ones. It's a very basic song. The, I remember these are honorable mentions, but you can hate us all you want. Uh, I just, I just love mm -hmm. Psycho Killer. Mm -hmm. It's just a great think song. I think that is so cool. Uh, I'm gonna instead of sticking with the metal theme at this moment. I'm gonna actually mention something that's up? not. Yeah, I'm switching it up. I'm, oh I'm, no! I'm actually, no, I'm gonna exclude one on my list that I'm not gonna mention. Oh, okay. okay. All right, fair enough. Because I forgot about this one, and actually, I wonder if it really slipped through our top list. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I know what this is. Is this Juice Newton's "Call Me Angel of the Morning"? Yes. How'd you know? I knew it. I knew you're so. I hate stupid. you so much. You're so stupid. All right. Uh, this would be um uh, um. I fucked him up. <laughs> Fly like an eagle. Oh, fly like an eagle! Fly oh. like a motherfucking eagle! Fuck, that is a really good song. Uh, it's um uh Steve Miller. Steve Miller. Steve Miller has so oh. many good fucking songs, but "Fly Like an Eagle" oh. to me is absolutely. See, he's regretting. He's regretting. I sure and I forgot that we, should be on the main this list. list from that should be on the main list. You know, <laughs> talking. I think we even mentioned it last I think, time. I we think both we forgot, you and know, I just remembered. Fly like an eagle. I'm gonna. Miller Band. Yeah, that should actually be on the. Yeah, 
primary list. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to pull that up from the Thank you. The, the honorable mentions. Yeah, that's a that's a fly like an eagle. I list. had to get that out there before no. I forgot. I'm glad you did because you're right. Yeah, thank that, you, sir. That is a, that's a and I will I will admit one of my more embarrassing honorable mentions. So, now now that I brought up fly like an eagle. So Juice Newton is going to be off the. Line. We'll go ahead. Uh, fair enough. Off. I mean, what Juice you, I don't know, I don't know what you're going to do. Okay. Okay. So um, Johnny Cash, I walked a line. Mm. Johnny Cash, uh, we don't have any kind of a lot like the Beatles either. and the Stones. Johnny Cash had a catalog that had a gazillion good songs. Falls in Prison. Um, they're, 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 I like what is it like? Not piece by piece. That's a Slayer song, but uh, one piece at a time. <laughs> one piece or at some... a time. There's, that's not even remotely the same. Um, but <laughs> piece by piece, Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> but. I nice Walk song. the Line is kind of the quintessential Johnny Cash song. And the funny thing, is, Johnny Cash, his writing wasn't super diverse. If you listen to a Johnny Cash song, you definitely know it's a Johnny Cash song. Um, and they all kind of have a similar, not same, uh, style about them. So that's why I threw I Walk the Line on there as my honorable Got mention, it. though, because it's... It almost represents the entire Johnny Cash catalog, except for the, the covers he did, which are arguably the, his cover of Hurt, Rusty Cage. Oh, yeah. Oh, That's a whole other... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe a, we'll do, like, best covers. Best co we already said one of the best covers, one of the perfect songs was Man, Man for, for Man, Man by... Uh, I almost don't even consider that a cover because no one, no, no one knows no the No one acknowledges Bruce Springsteen version. Bruce Springsteen version. And that there's is a reason true. for that. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> okay, so... Um, My turn. No, you just had you just had your your. No, your... you you picked. Uh... Oh, I did, I did. I'm sorry, that's my fault. Yeah, thank you. All right, okay, asshole. So I'm gonna go back to the metal world, and I'm gonna go ahead and say Megadeth B cells. I think that's a perfect song. Yeah, that's, a, uh, that's really for good. Uh, I think for obvious reasons. Uh, again, I will say the same disclaimer that I said about the Metallica song. Uh, B cells is not my favorite song by Metallica or by Megadeth. Uh, there's a lot of other songs that I prefer, but. I think P Cells is a perfect yeah, P song. P Cells has written a for, lot of very good elements. In the end, the way it progresses, that chorus, uh, the yeah, chorus on yeah, its own it is, is just it is. fucking great. P, that what that was, uh, yeah, that's what put them on the map. But other than that, it it, it 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 should not be about putting yourself on the map. It's just a perfect written song, as far as I'm concerned. Go ahead. Okay, uh, next one, I got yelled at by Mrs. Terenzini about this. Because she doesn't yeah, agree. That she, did, she doesn't agree. That she, she didn't have my honorable mention, but I—that's why we're in the garage and mm -hmm. she's plotting my death. Um, <laughs> it's U2's "Sunday Bloody Sunday," the mm -hmm. live version, not the studio mm -hmm. version. Mm -hmm. the, the live version captures a lot it's more emotion. We haven't had than, like a live version. Well, part. quite you're right, though. Quite it's, it's rare it's that a live version okay. I think is better than a studio version, mm -hmm. but I think this live version is definitely about the studio version i think it's it's a brilliant song um irish revolution the ira the feelings about that i mean we won't even get into that discussion because they are very mixed and where you fall in that argument is entirely up to you um but i think that song it's a basic song there's not a lot to Sunday Bloody Sunday. It's a it's a very it's basic true. riff through almost the entire piece of music. But infectious. It's but, very infectious. But Edge's guitar solo in yeah, that. that yeah, yeah. Yep. That yep, shit yep. is just groundbreaking stuff. Um, so that's why it's that's why that one's there for me. Okay, so uh my turn. So uh I'm gonna stay again in metal. Okay, for so for you metal people. Come on, I'm, I'm trying to represent here. Uh Slayer's Angel to Death. Uh, I don't think there's much to be said about that because I do believe a lot of people who think like me would admit that um, Angel of Death is a perfect song by Slayer. Uh, obviously off their Rain and Blood album in 86. Same. Actually, what's interesting is uh, uh, with the Metallica, Megadeth, and the Slayer, uh, there was, they were all uh, out in 86. These oh. were all the was same year. year. Same year. Was but there the, was ground. It was groundbreaking. Was it that was the same year that Europe's The Final Countdown came out? I don't know who this guy is. <laughs> all right. I, I, I pretend I know him, but I really don't know him. I don't want to hear about I, him. I, I, I thought that was funny. But yes, you're correct. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, go ahead. 
the Bee Gees, I started, started a, joke, a joke, which Matt introduced me to. I didn't. I actually had never heard this piece of music. And why isn't it? We both agree. Here's a funny thing. We both agree it's a perfect song, but you notice it's not on our main list because it. We think it. We would be biased to put that on. Yeah, it, just it, like a lot. Most all these are right. Come on, give me a break. Most of these are biased. Agree. All right, so. Um, this that, that's a, it's a it's an interesting song. Um, Faith No More did a fantastic did, version. Of I, I really like their cover of it. They did a great cover of it. Um, it's about a guy. <laughs> I started a joke that started the world uh, dying, crying. Crying. And when they all started laughing, he started crying. Something Basically, like it's about the the um, the downfall of a person for the betterment of the world is what is or 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 like taking I, I, one for the team or something maybe, maybe. i mean it's hard it, you know it's, it's I like guess he's it's, a sacrificial lamb he, you know like go ahead I, I mean i suppose your perspective on the song will depend on will will uh give your interpretation of that song yeah like all these right they all it is it's, it's it, all your interpretation everyone's got their own feelings of all these songs he thinks he's loved but he's hated is basically what the song ends up being about. And at the end, he's dead. Uplifting. That's what I do. I I bring you up. I put you down. Uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say an extreme song right here. Uh, I'm gonna again. I'm I'm. This is my last metal entry. So <laughs> if anyone thinks that uh, they want to disregard my pit, my honorable mentions right now, that's fine. The final count. Uh, he tells me all the time that I don't. All my taste is in my mouth. That's it. So, uh, so uh, this one is again. I I personally think is a perfect song as a metal guy, and this is from Creator. Pleasure to Kill. The song Pleasure to Kill is fucking badass. Perfect from beginning to end. I had some friends from back in the day, uh, high school, turning me on to this and as the heaviest song they've ever heard at the time. This was 87 or so. And the songwriting in this is very cool. In fact, I'm now embarrassed to say it because no one would know who this is. I actually have so, no idea who this is. So, But check it out. Creator Pleasure to Kill if you're into metal, if you're not into metal, don't check it out and disregard this <laughs> and cut to him. But the point of these songs is it, uh, a lot of, especially the honorable mentions, stuff to get you guys to go out and just check them out. These are, you know, they're good songs. Even if they're out of your, your comfort zone of music, that's where we find some of our best stuff. It's shit that you thought you would never be listening to and so you're like, you know what, that's a good fucking song. Get with your friends, so, get some beer, and you guys contemplate the the perfect song. It's it's hours in, of enjoyment. It's fun. It is. It's a, it's it's fun figuring it out. You know, you and your friend. Yeah, definitely. You and your friend's perspective on this is going to be certainly different than ours. Mm -hmm. And but you guys are sitting here talking about music, and you're talking about it from a a different level than you normally would be, as opposed to. Yeah, man. And, 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 and you try to keep the emotion out and the bias yeah, out. Yeah, you, you're, you're really you trying to say evaluate a, the song. From start to finish, all the notes, everything. Could it be improved? Could it, you know, anyways. It's a ahead. forensic diagnosis, you know, a dissection of the music mm -hmm. in, a, in a way. Okay, so uh, Styx, Renegade. Great song. Great song. Great it is, song. and I don't I don't really think I even didn't talk about that song a whole lot. I mean, that's, that's, it's no Mr. Obato. <laughs> Which is a good song. Yeah, it's a good song, it, but yeah, Mr. Right. is a guilty not, pleasure. Yeah, yeah, but it is. It's, Renegade is a. I like too much time on your hand. I know. I'm not even a big Sticks fan, yeah. <laughs> but I love Renegade. I think Renegade, the song about the guy on the run and the bounty and all that shit. I think it's yeah. lyrically, it's a good song Very and cool. guitars. It's just, it's a good piece of music. Uh, okay, so this is going to be our first entry in Pink Floyd. Now, here's the thing. There's going to be so many people that you guys didn't talk about. Oh, Pink God. Floyd. Yep. Okay. Yep. So for me, I think, perfect song, folks. Perfect song. There's probably going to be Comfortably Numb. That's not the one I'm going to say. Breaking the Wall. Breaking the Wall. You know. I actually think Hey You is a perfect song. Hey You is a perfect song. From begin to end, I just enjoy the hell out of that song. The way it's composed, all the notes put together, the vocals uh the the fretless bass um that roger waters plays 
it's incredible. And I think it, it sums up a feeling from that, I don't know, it's just a perfect song to me. Mrs. Terenzini also likes that song. I'm not a big Pink Floyd guy, so it's hard for me to interject on She's that. She's smarter than him. She is smarter than me. Um, this is actually my last song. And a lot of you are going to have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about on this. And every single one of you needs to seek this song out and listen to it. Why is it weird? Why didn't it make our, my primary list, even though Matt would argue with me about it anyway? Uh, <laughs> it's an 11-minute song by an artist named Nina Simone. Never heard of her. The song is called Sinner Man. So uh, this is an amazing piece of music. This is uh, this is blues and soul uh, done back. I think I think it was nineteen sixty three. Maybe oh, is this the song we we you played that? Oh, I yes, do know the this piano. song. I and do know this song. Actually, if you've yeah, ever yeah, watched yeah. I do know uh, the it's show, a good song. It's the a show really good Lucifer. Song. He actually performs a version of that on the, the stage. Um, so you got that going for you if you've ever seen Lucifer. Okay. But this is it's a it, it's got it's a lot of Bible stuff and don't freak out about that. It's just a really powerful piece of music. It is. Um, that is a good song. And like I said, it's eleven minutes long. Uh, I believe it was Marilyn Monroe who would not go to a club unless they let Nina Simone play there. So that tells you uh, her cultural influence during that time. And importance. Period. So, and again, something you probably never heard of. But that, this is a song yeah. I, I want you to actually go out and listen to. We've had some, we enjoyed some good scotches and whiskeys to that song. Yes, you're right. We absolutely you're have. Correct. We absolutely have. And then I will end with two quick songs. I won't expand on them, only because now that we're at the end of the lists, you know, that I, I, I think, you know, I, uh, I will say um, Better Than Ezra Good. Now there's people laughing. That is a, he laughed. That's a great fucking song. I actually think that's a perfect song. I, Matt, <laughs> thinks it's a perfect song. I really enjoy the shit out of that. Okay, we'll move on. I'm stupid. Got it. It's okay. Uh, yes. And I actually think Four Non Blondes, uh, What's Going On? I think that's a perfect song. That's I a, that's really a, that's think actually, that's a perfect I, I do song. Agree that's Four Non Blondes, song. What's Going On? Uh, you know, I'm not going to sing it. You know, I know you want me to sing it to embarrass myself, but so I'm not going to do it. Sing it. That's a cool fucking song. It's perfect. It's actually perfect. I think that's all I got. If he sang it, you'd really I'm not going to sing it. I hate him so much. Him. All right. Well, this was our list of the perfect song and then our honorable mention songs. Uh, please write your comments on this. Uh, I, I really am interested in seeing what other people put in here because these are songs that I'd like to look at myself because that external perspective that he and I don't have. And we forgot Yeah, tons there, of there songs. Are, yeah, there are a million songs that... Literally, we put this together last week while yep. we were just, you know, just drinking some beers or something, talking, thinking of stuff, so... And one of the reasons I wanted to do this video is because I want you guys to do the same thing. Get together with your friends. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. Drink some beers and try to do this. Again, take your emotion out of it. Take your preferences out yep. of it. Yep, yep. Uh, your, your honorable mentions, that's, that's all your shit. But your perfect song is... Something different. It can't, it's as perfect, it's perfect. You you can't improve on it. Everything was in its right, all the notes were in the right places at the right time. The lyrics were in the, the perfect lyrics fit into the song structure exactly perfectly. And that's when, like, when we took songs off the list, when he and I started talking about a song, and I'm like, if we're still having a debate about this, it can't be on the list. True. So True. that's Usually a good we, sign. So something for you to think about. Have fun with this. This is something that you, you can definitely bring you guys together and you can do something weird. And if so, you stuck through us uh, through this time, we appreciate you. We really do. <laughs> Thank you. It was so, awesome. It was a lot of fun. This, this was fun. Uh, so this was Roman of the Empire. I am your host, Roman, with my co-host, Matt. Signing off. Be kind.